Hey, I'm Not So East Trainer, and this is Wants to Battle 2021. Let's get into it. For those of you who don't know, this is a challenge dropped by Birdkeeper Toby, and uh, it is not the first time he does it, but it is the first time that I'm actually a creator that can participate. So here I am. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Not So East Trainer. I make videos about Pokemon that range from news to um, discussions about the games and future games and theories. I love theories, I love the lore, and I try to focus on that. So. There you have it, I also don't like to beat around the bush, so let's start with the questions. Question number one. Do you or will you have a channel mascot? I do have a channel mascot, it is Berserker. I've been using it in everything that I do. Ever since I first saw it in uh, the Leaks for Sword and Shield way back in 2019, I was completely in love, I, it just spoke to me, that Pokemon was fantastic. And go I love cats, so Goofy Cat. I love North Mythology, so Viking-inspired Pokemon. And um, it has a beard, so I was like, yeah, this is my spirit Pokemon. And when I started the channel, I, there was just no way I could not use that Pokemon. Question number two. What is your best video of 2021 or the video you are most looking forward in 2022? Hmm. My best video in 2021 when it comes to views was a Snorlax guide in Pokemon Unite. I don't know how. That is not the content that I want to make, so I never really followed up on that. I just was, I was trying. You know, trying to see if that was a niche that I could be happy in. It is not. So I just got back to lore and to discussion. So my best video, in my opinion, is a lore video that I recently made with a pitch for every Pokemon Legends game. It wasn't seen by a lot of people. I'll leave a link here, of course. I hope you guys like it if you want to watch it. I went from Kanto to Galar, going over Sino, of course, because we have Legends Arceus. And uh, yeah. I hope you guys like it, but one thing I found out was that the videos you like the most are the ones that get the least views. So I gotta get used to that, that's the way of YouTube I guess. And uh, question number 3. Would you rather have a BDSP style remake of Art Gold and Soul Silver or Legends Unova Kyurem game? I am a Johto fanboy, let me just start by saying that, so anything Johto, I want it. But I don't think we need that remake right now, I think that uh, with Legends being such a big step and such a big risk, I say... Go all in on that, really. Because the game looks beautiful, and if it actually is fun to play, that could be a very good thing for the Pokemon company, having something like that. And you know, is a, a generation that I didn't really get into that much, but I know it is amazing, I know the lore there is fantastic, but was never really, you know, explored decently. Because the original dragon, what is that? Come on, tell us, show us. I think it would be perfect in the Legends Unova game. I think it would be fantastic, it would get a lot of people looking at the franchise again, and uh, we need that. They could finally use the Nova to do what they tried to do the first time, getting people into Pokemon. So I'd say, against all of my Johto fanboyism, Legends Kyurem game for sure, and uh, you can check my opinion on the Legends Kyurem game in the video that I talked about a little bit earlier. Uh, it's actually more of an original Dragon slash Sword of Justice pitch, but you be the judge. I think it's good. Question number 4. What can your viewers expect from you in 2022? So, 2022, they can expect the same thing they had, but improved overall. I'm trying to improve everything from quality in recording, quality in uh, editing, quality in research, and quality in things. I'm trying to go all in on this, trying to get people to know me a lot better, because they have a voice, and I kind of want to show them a little bit part of who I am, and stuff, you know, camera on this video, you won't find that in the channel a lot. You do find it on Twitch. And, uh... I'd say expect what I already have, but um, a lot better than I already made it, you know? I think that is the best way I can explain it. Expect lore videos, theories, the same thing I did about news and uh, discussions about the games, but expect it all a little bit better than I did before. I think that's the best way to put it, honestly, yeah. Expect that from me. Question number five. Have there been any big milestones for you this year? Yes, there have. This was my first year as a content creator. I started the channel back in February, right before the, um, the whole Pokemon 25 day. So basically, I was kind of sick of the content on YouTube. It was a lot of uh, potential leak days, rumor that, and uh, it was all clickbaity, you know, it was all clickbaity nothing. Uh, so I decided I'll make my own. And that was my first big milestone, I think that is the biggest milestone we can have, it's actually creating the channel, it's actually going forward with our decision, you know? Making the channel, making the video, post it. Deal with the backlash, deal with the fact that you probably don't know what you're doing, and then just improve on it. And I'd say that is the biggest milestone, was actually creating the channel, and 
other milestones, of course, getting the first subscriber that doesn't know you in real life, uh, getting the first comment, um, and of course, 100 subs. Uh, I'm currently over 500. It, it is amazing. I expect next year to be fantastic, and uh, I'm looking forward to it, honestly. Question number six, name a smaller creator you think your audience would love. So, I'm a small creator. I don't really know a lot of smaller creators. I don't think I know any smaller creator than me, honestly. Because, as I said, YouTube discoverability is really, really bad. Especially if you do theory videos, it's really hard for people to search for it, because it's not as searchable as a, a news or something like that. So I, I'm gonna name a, a bigger creator, an established creator, I'd say, but that I think deserves a lot more than already has. And that is Gator EX. Uh, awesome videos, awesome editing, awesome um, topics that it talks about, and clearly loves Pokemon, so... All those things together, 30k subscribers, that is nothing, it deserves at least 100k, so for those who watch this video, check out Get Reacts, please, it's amazing, the link will be in the description as always, and it's been supporting the channel for a while, which is another big thing, the moment I saw someone there that actually was known, and I didn't know who he was, and that's a crime, you know, I was told by a member of my community. I was, okay, this is also, this is amazing, I feel recognized, so yeah, Get Reacts, check him out. And so those were all the questions uh, I've answered, I hope you like the answers, and uh, again, thank you so much for Keeper Toby for this, it's amazing that someone out there, someone big, it's looking out for the people that are still trying to grow, so again, fantastic gesture by you, and uh, keep on doing what you're doing, you're doing great of course. And I also want to thank my community, because without them, no milestone would have been achieved, and for sure I wouldn't be doing this, because they have been there almost every step of the way, be it here on YouTube or down there on Twitch. Why did I say down there on Twitch? Hmm. It's Twitch hell? I don't think it is. Yeah, but that's it. Thank you so much for your gesture, Toby, and thank you so much for my community to be there every step of the way. Here's to a very good 2022 for everyone here on YouTube. So yeah, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. You can follow me on social media, Twitch, I stream there Thursday to Sunday, and join our Discord, all the links will be in the description as always. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.